Welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report, brought to you by yours too, Jalen Rose. The Wizards have the advantage on the scoreboard at halftime. They decided to make a statement. We're moments away from the third quarter. Mike and Jeff are ready to call. And we're back at the United Center for the second half, which is just about underway. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Breen on hand. Chicago's in another nip and tuck game. Jeff, they're trailing, but they did a lot of good things in that first half. A lot of positives, Mike. A lot of good things happened there in the first half. They've got to continue working at the game, continue building their habits, and you've just got to trust that if you do the right things on the floor, good results will follow. For three, bang! And that's the fifth three-pointer for the Bulls. Listen, Mike, they didn't have a lot of assists in the last game, and sometimes we can say, well, they didn't pass the ball. Sometimes you have to make shots. You could be passing the ball well, and you miss the shot. Well, today they're passing the ball well, and they're making. That's why their assists are way up. Noah jump shot. Three-pointer won't go. Jeff, as great as their backcourt is, the key really for the Wizards is that front court. Gortat, Nene, these guys have to produce every night. Yeah, and for Nene, it's always about health. Gortat is an outstanding center, but for their front court to truly be special, Otto Porter, the new starter, needs to be consistently good. Porter's opportunity has expanded, and he's got to deliver. Just the shot, draws the foul. It's called against Gasol. Picks up his first personal. Washington shooting 46% from the line tonight. First free throw, good. Two for two at the line. He fires it the length of the floor. Wall against Noah. Red blows his whistle. Foul. Called against the Bulls. That's their fourth. Next one puts them in the penalty. Personal foul. Team foul number four. Chicago. To the rim. Can't knock it down. The defensive timing in when to come to double is critical. You come high, hard, and to the offensive player's body so that there is no room to split or get to the basket. What you want to do is either force the pass or the jump shot. Everybody clap your hands. He'll count if it goes. Won't go for three. Chicago's just not set the right tone defensively. They're getting absolutely obliterated on that end of the floor. Porter from downtown, no one near him. Gasol fires, puts it in. And Pau Gasol with seven points. And in their last game, the assist total wasn't where it needed to be. Today, it's a completely different story. Gortat has the double team converge. It's good. And they extend the lead to double figures. This is an absolute joke. This defense is horrible. You've got to stay between your man and the basket versus getting broken down off the dribble. Beal the rebound. To the reverse. Knocks down the shot. The Wizards up by 12. That's nice body control right there on that layup. Good finish. Dunleavy fires it up again from three. Nene the rebound. He's averaging five rebounds per game this season. Right now, he owns the paint, getting every rebound in sight. Wall for two, lets it go. Able to knock it down. And John Wall with eight points. 
Locks of room there. Gortat the rebound. Field jumper. Can't hit from three-point range. Out of bounds. It'll be Bulls ball. And both teams making changes to their lineups right now. Jimmy Butler back with the Bulls. That was the number one priority in the offseason. He has turned into as good a two-way player as there is on the perimeter. What a year Jimmy Butler had bouncing back from a subpar year the year before. The NBA's most improved player. And like you said, Mike, he did it at both ends of the floor. A terrific two-way play. Out of bounds. Turnover. Oh, he shoots it, nails it. That's a two-pointer. And Pau Gasol with nine points. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense. Good offense won out that time. Wide open for three. Gasol the rebound. That's a three-pointer. The defense nowhere near him. Again with the open shot. Joaquin Noah with a nice look. He's got three assists in the matchup. Number 13, Joaquin Noah. Gortat for two. Gasol the rebound. Three quarters complete. Chicago's down by nine. We'll be right back with more NBA as the fourth quarter is set to begin, Jeff, this game's not over yet, but what has to change for them to pull off this comeback? Well, it starts with creating some fast break opportunities off of great defense. They've got to get some steals, some fast breaks, get some momentum, and get some excitement back in their game. They have no excitement in their game. They've got to string together some buckets. Finds a space and takes the wide open three. Knocks it down. Washington's one for eight from beyond the arc. The ball movement in this game has been phenomenal, forcing a lot of defensive rotations and ultimately a lot of passes leading to direct scores. Humphreys against Gibson fires away for two puts it in and they take this lead into double figures gets to the rim puts it in plus the foul that's great body control right there finishes the shot and now goes to the free throw line for the Chicago Bulls Al Gasol to the line shooting one and that completes the three point play Throws it right back at him and goes out of bounds. Yep, they're going to make some changes with personnel on the floor. Number 13, Marcin Gortat. Into the game for Chicago. Rose jump shot. Off the mark. The screen is set. Field jumper. Can't hit. Dunleavy into the front court. Goes for the three-pointer. Knocks it down. Hey, you can only control what you can control. The defense there was great. It was just a better shot. Gets inside, won't go. He's a great shooter, 
but he could have driven the ball into the paint and made a play for his teammates. Won't go from downtown. Some might question that shot right there. I like that shot. You have a great player who's a great shooter. I like the creativity. He just missed it. Oh, and he throws it down. Oh, that's nice right there. The finish at the rim with the nice dunk. From beyond the arc. Strong on the offensive glass. Inside to the basket. Oh, what a brilliant move. Hey, sometimes good offense beats good defense. There's nothing to be ashamed with on that possession. That was a well-defended, well-contested shot. The shot is blocked. That kind of play, Mike, makes a statement. Fires away for two. Knocks it down. Three-point game. And Washington calls a timeout. They're trying to slow down the opposition's momentum. It's critical at this timeout that every player knows time, score, and shot clock. When you're playing ahead in a one-possession game, you have to make sure that everybody is on the same page. A short shot, and he knocked it home. Wall against Rose. Quick move. To puts it down. What a play. I love back and forth games, tight games, because what you see, Mike, is who has the poise and the precision to execute under the duress of the tight, hotly contested matchup. For two, and he gets it to go. Tie game. Four minutes gone by in the fourth, and it's a tie ball game. Wall against Rose. Look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. Oh, my shot! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, open two point jump shot. The assist from number one, Derek Rose. Curling in, to the, puts it down. Oh, that's a sweet finish right there. Dunking the ball with strength and force. hit from downtown. Hey, that's a tough shot, but I'd rather have a good player taking a bad shot than a bad player taking a good shot. Get him for the foul. They had to do it and stop the clock. The Nays back on the floor as we're winding down here on the fourth. the final buzzer. The final score is 59 to 57. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying thanks for joining us and good night. Hey everyone, it's Jalen Rose and it's time for the